assalam alaikum everybody today we will talk about uh, animal behavior uh, and uh, this is uh, one of the most interesting topic uh, in the subject of uh, animals uh, and uh, environmental sciences uh, basically behavior is the combination of uh, stimulus and response what is stimulus uh, stimulus uh, uh, whether it comes from internal environment or external environment like in internal environment uh, we feel pain in our stomach uh, that is stimulus from our environment and uh, we feel cold and warmness of the weather that is uh, uh, external stimulus so animal change their place according to uh, their uh, uh, ease for their shelter for their food and uh, reproduction let's start uh, with uh, behavior uh, behavior as you know it's a combination of uh, uh, stimulus and response and uh, the subject of uh, uh, science which deals with the study of uh, animal behavior and uh, in the same subject we also study what are the evolutionary adaptiveness of uh, behavior and uh, different uh, traits behavior also help the uh, organism in the in adaptability of uh, within nature aap keh sakte hain ki behavior ki wajah se animals apne aap ko environment mein uh, adapt करते हैं सो एनिमल बिहेवियर इट इंक्लूड द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट इंट्रैक्शन इधर विद द अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म और विद द फिजिकल इन्वायरमेंट सपोज कंपिटिशन विद इन द पॉपुलेशन इट Uh, trigger the various kinds of uh, behavior and uh, circadian rhythm the cycle of day and uh, night that is uh, circadian uh, rhythm this is also an example of uh, behavior behavior is a change in the activity of uh, an organism in response to stimulus uh, that uh, stimulus uh, whether it is internal or external or sometimes it's a combination of different uh, cues or uh, you can say a combination of multiple stimuli we have uh, two types of behavior instinctive behavior or innate behavior uh, that behavior uh, is uh, genetically determined uh, such types are uh, of uh, stereotypic behavior uh, and uh, there is no uh, need of uh, any experty or uh, experience uh, in the past you have studied the example of uh, uh, pink salmon and uh, in case of uh, pink salmon you Uh, studied that uh, pink salmon move from the ocean to the head water of rivers uh, and then breed and die after uh, hatching of eggs uh, young ones of uh, salmon move towards the ocean and uh, they spend their uh, life and grow within the ocean and uh, once again come back into the that place where uh, uh, his or her parents were uh, died after breeding such behavior uh, uh, is uh, the example of uh, instinctive behavior uh, or innate behavior uh, uh, in which uh, uh, organism no need to uh, experience or learn from their uh, parents such type of behavior uh, uh, are known as instinctive behavior we have the example of uh, digger wasp this digger wasp uh, maturity it prepare a hole and uh, lay its egg in its uh, hole and uh, after laying egg uh, wasp will become die and after uh, some time in next favorable season 
uh, or uh, eggs of wasp uh, will hatch and uh, grow into uh, young ones and adult uh, and uh, will display the same behavior as their parents uh, did. So this is another example of uh, uh, instinctive behavior. Second type uh, of behavior uh, that is learned behavior. Uh, this type of behavior uh, is present uh, in advanced type of animals like mammal, birds, uh, reptile, amphibian, and even in some uh, types of uh, fishes, uh, animals display learned behavior. Animals learn by their uh, own experience uh, or uh, they learn such uh, uh, behavior from their parents uh, and uh, uh, surrounding environment. With the help of uh, learned behavior, uh, animals improve their performance uh, by the experience uh, and uh, keep the memory of uh, such activities or behavior in their uh, brain and uh, ultimately with the passage of time, they improve uh, behavior. So, uh, learned behavior uh, can be changed. We can change or modify it, uh, whereas uh, instinctive behavior, we cannot change the instinctive behavior of animal. Uh, suppose we uh, term the uh, cats and uh, dogs uh, and uh, such animals uh, learn uh, how to live within a house uh, and how to interact with the uh, human such type of behavior in cats and dog uh, is uh, learning behavior uh, first we have uh, studied uh, about the ethology ethology means uh, study of uh, behavior uh, of animals uh, in their natural environment uh, uh, whereas uh, another uh, branch of uh, behavioral ecology that deals with the a study of behavioral interactions between individuals within the same population and communities with special context to the evolution. So in such behavior, we study about the competition and cooperation between and within the species and such behavioral ecology subject uh, tell us uh, about the evolutionary fitness uh, of uh, every individual uh, within the environment. So behavioral ecology has uh, behavior ki evolutionary development, uh, animals kis tara ek dusre se interact karte hai, aur iske alawa unki animals ki reproductive success or uh, environment ke under adaptation jo hai uske liye animal kis tarah apne behaviors ko develop karte hain aur modify karte hain ye sari cheeze hum behavioral ecology mein padhte hain tin burgen uh, is a scientist who for the first time used the term of behavioral ecology and uh, animal behavior uh, this is uh, tin burgen famous uh, uh, ethologist and behavioral ecologist, uh, he proposed some uh, questions uh, to understand the development of behavior. For example, he proposed uh, four questions. First question, what stimulate, what stimulus elicit the behavior and what physiological mechanism mediate the response? You have studied the example of uh, reflex action. That is the simplest behavior. Uh, whenever uh, any uh, coming towards uh, your body and uh, you will suddenly uh, remove your body from the path of that uh, uh, moving object. That is the simplest example of, uh, uh, you can say, uh, behavior. So, two types of behavior, simple behavior and uh, complex behavior. Simple behavior, uh, uh, you can quote the example of uh, a reflex action, whereas complex behavior, complex behavior uh, is that behavior which take long evolutionary time for uh, its uh, refinement. For example, nest building behavior of uh, uh, birds 
you can uh, observe the nest of uh, different uh, birds uh, even uh, our latest and sophisticated technology uh, uh, cannot uh, uh, prepare uh, such type of nest which uh, uh, mm -hmm. birds can uh, prepare for their uh, uh, protection and nourishment of uh, young one. So second question is how does animals experience during growth and development influence the response? Second question may ye hai ke growth or uh, development to hai ye uh, animal ke response ke upar uh, kaise uh, iska impact hota hai. Suppose uh, uh, you can take the example of uh, uh, during the breeding condition. During breeding conditions, animals are more possessive and uh, aggressive towards the, any intruder, whether uh, uh, it is man or, or uh, an other uh, animal or uh, any other organism belonging to their uh, species. Uh, if uh, any individual intrude in their, uh, in their territory, they will respond. Third question is how behavior aids survival and uh, reproduction. Uh, some behavior uh, uh, which are not compatible or adaptable with the nature uh, uh, individuals uh, with uh, such behavior uh, will be eliminated by the natural selection. If there is particular behavior uh, that is aiding the individual for uh, its own survival and uh, also help the individual for uh, production of uh, more and more young one, uh, that behavior will uh, be selected by the natural selection and uh, will contribute more and more offspring in the nature. What is the behavior evolutionary history? One thing keep in your mind, uh, uh, simplest behavior have uh, a short evolutionary history and uh, its behavior uh, have uh, a long evolutionary history. Suppose uh, if we look at the behavior of birds, uh, birds first uh, uh, and there is a pair formation, then uh, they start to build their nest and after building of nest, uh, they mate and uh, uh, female lay eggs and both parents uh, protect uh, their uh, eggs and after hatching, uh, both parents uh, contribute to feed their uh, young one and uh, uh, after uh, uh, reasonable growth, uh, and attaining the size uh, young one nestle will fly from the nest so this is the complex behavior uh, nature favor those uh, individuals uh, uh, which uh, show maximum parental care to their uh, young ones uh, that behavior will be selected by the natural selection we have the example of uh, fixed action pattern then virgin he was the father of uh, ethology. Uh, he uh, take the example of uh, a three-spined uh, stickleback. Belong to, uh, in case of male, they have uh, red belly, whereas uh, females uh, uh, don't have uh, any red mark on their uh, bellies. Male sticklebacks uh, normally having uh, red ba bellies uh, uh, attack on the other males that try to invade in their uh, nesting territory. Any intruder male uh, come in the territory of uh, male stickleback, that male stickleback uh, will defend its uh, territory. If any individuals uh, without uh, red mark enter in their territory, then what will happen? Uh, there will be no uh, aggressive reaction against that individual uh, by the male and uh, because male identify the other male by means of uh, uh, red color sign on their uh, belly so red color belly is a sign stimulus stickleback male uh, maintain their uh, territory uh, because they uh, want to contribute more and more genes to their uh, 
uh, of of something fixed action pa pattern whenever uh, any individual of uh, ma male individual uh, from three spines stickle back uh, intrude in the territory of other male the resident male will defend its territory for this purpose uh, Convergence also performed uh, an experiment uh, uh, in which uh, he painted uh, four different uh, uh, objects uh, uh, with uh, red belly. This is a uh, square biscuit shaped uh, and uh, this is uh, elongated uh, individual and uh, this is uh, rod like individual and uh, this is more or less oval shaped individual. In such synthetic fishes, when we place in the territory of male stickleback, resident male individual show aggression such artificial objects. Sign stimulus, that is red belly, is the identification mark on the belly of stickleback, which elicits the fixed action pattern. Fixed act action pattern whenever any st male stickleback uh, uh, see the uh, fish with red belly of same species uh, that will aggressively react. Migration, why animals migrate from one place to another place? There are uh, several reasons uh, for their uh, uh, migrations, such as uh, animals uh, migrate uh, uh, from one place to another place to, for food, shelter, and uh, reproduction. Migration is a regular long distance uh, movement uh, of animals uh, from one place to another place uh, for food, shelter, and uh, uh, reproduction. There are some environmental stimuli which uh, uh, elicit the process of uh, uh, migration. Among these, uh, uh, you can say uh, migrations, uh, mainly environmental stimuli uh, play a vital role in case of uh, uh, migration. Some birds are uh, uh, migrate uh, from one place to another place uh, and uh, uh, they uh, get stimulus uh, from the sun and stars orientation. Some pigeons uh, uh, move from one place to an other place uh, uh, with the help of uh, magnetic field or uh, uh, some, uh, you can say, uh, indication from uh, solar or uh, celestial uh, bodies. So animals uh, can adjust uh, uh, their uh, time of uh, migration according to their uh, time, uh, sign stimuli which they wash during the process of uh, you can say during the process of uh, a pigeon can sense their uh, position within the earth magnetic field uh, without uh, solar and some of the animals uh, uh, adjust their uh, daily activities, 24 uh, hour activities uh, with the help of uh, circadian clocks. Circadian clock means the activities uh, of an organism which is uh, regulated during the 24 hour cycle uh, during day and night. Such rhythm is known as uh, circadian rhythm Whereas uh, a second type of uh, a rhythm that is uh, circannual rhythm. Circannual rhythm, animals perform their uh, activities uh, during uh, different seasons. In this uh, picture, birds are migrating uh, in the form of flock uh, from one place to another place. Uh, whereas uh, in second diagram, uh, we have uh, wildebeest, uh, which are moving from one place to another place uh, uh, for uh, grazing and uh, reproduction. This is the example of uh, pink salmon uh, you have earlier discussed. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, we have the example of uh, monarch butterfly. 
all these butterflies uh, come into the Mexico and uh, there are some gymnosperm forest uh, which uh, provide uh, overwintering site uh, to the monarch butterflies uh, and uh, monarch butterflies uh, from Canada and uh, United States uh, migrate to the Mexico and there uh, these butterflies uh, spend uh, a winter season and uh, after th that uh, these uh, butterflies once again move back to their uh, habitat with the help of uh, uh, due to uh, anthropogenic activities uh, the population of monarch butterfly within canada is uh, continuously declining that's why uh, monarch butterfly within canada is uh, cleared as an endangered species we have uh, another uh, example of uh, bobolink bird this bird during summer in united states and uh, canada uh, uh, during winter it moved towards uh, south america uh, argentine and uh, nowadays uh, its uh, popul uh, its uh, home range is extended towards the rocky range this uh, mountain range which is present in canada and uh, united states uh, this range uh, is known as rockies whereas uh, mountain range within uh, south america that is known as andes so these are the two uh, uh, extreme parts of uh, uh, north and uh, south uh, uh, america where uh, this bird uh, move uh, throughout the year and uh, during this movement uh, uh, birds uh, get clues from landmarks uh, magnetic field uh, solar and uh, celestial these uh, uh, birds and animals uh, get clues uh, for their uh, migration human is also a population and uh, we have uh, migrated uh, from eastern rift valley to the different parts of the world uh, uh, human migrate uh, from africa to arab and then uh, europe uh, then towards uh, india and uh, from siberia man crossed this uh, uh, bering sea at that time this bering sea was uh, uh, frozen and uh, uh, man walked on in the snow and moved towards the new world uh, north america and ultimately reached towards uh, uh, south america the features of uh, red indians uh, which are uh, natives to uh, canada united states uh, and uh, south america uh, uh, these uh, humans uh, are quite similar uh, with the chinese because of that uh, mongoloid people migrate uh, uh, from uh siberia and china to united states and ultimately uh, reach to the uh, south america and amazon forest uh, this migration route was uh, determined by uh, the paleontologist and anthropologist uh, how uh, human migrate from one place to another place later on uh, during the colonial uh, era and uh, recently we have uh, moved towards the uh, globalized world animal signals and uh, communication animals uh, transmit uh, signals uh, from one organism to another such uh, signals uh, are transmit from one individuals to the other individuals of same species and uh, from uh, one sex to the other sex suppose uh, uh, male transmits some signals towards the female for uh, uh, courtship behavior so uh, animals uh, uh, within a population communicate the message by means of uh, four methods visual method eye contact method 
chemical you can say uh, by releasing of uh, some chemicals like pheromones tactile method uh, by touching or tapping and uh, auditory method uh, by sound method animal communicate uh, with the help of chemicals uh, such chemicals uh, which are uh, emitted by any organism to attract the individuals for same species uh, for mating that is known as uh, pheromones most of the animals uh, uh, supply pheromones uh, during uh, their uh, breeding season we have uh, the example of uh, courtship behavior of uh, fruit fly fruit fly courtship involve a fixed set of behavior that follow and other in fixed uh, order the behavior of fruit fly is a quite complex behavior in which it's not a simple behavior a combination of different behaviors which are performed by the individuals uh, in a regular manners uh, or you can say step by first uh, step is the uh, orientation that male visually recognize female during breeding season female release chemicals that uh, uh, detected by the uh, male sense of smell even in case of some insects male individual detect the pheromones or chemicals emitted from the female body at 5 to 6 km distance this behavior is known as orientation behavior second behavior of a fruit fly drosophila that male tap female abdomen with Four leg. So this is, uh, you can say, tactile behavior and uh, tapping behavior. After this, uh, male extend uh, uh, vibrating uh, wings, uh, producing courtship song. So this is the courtship behavior performed by male uh, to attract the female for uh, courtship display. Orienting, tapping, and singing. These are the courtship behavior uh, performed by male and female uh, before the mating after mating uh, fertilization will occur and female uh, will lay egg for the start new generation evolution of uh, animal communication you know uh, animals uh, communicate uh, with each other uh, by uh, different uh, means you have observed the crows when uh, there is uh, any uh, sign of danger for the crow population crow will start mob and uh, all crows will get together uh, and they will uh, start mobbing uh, and uh, ultimately as a result of their mobbing uh, and uh, different uh, individual may attack on human or uh, other uh, animal that is disturbing their uh, any young ones uh, within the population they will fight to pull the predator away from their uh, community so evolution of animal communication communication signals uh, are uh, evolved during uh, the course of uh, evolution some animals transmit their uh, information to the other uh, individuals of the same species uh, uh, sending some signals uh, and uh, in evolution if both sender and receiver individuals accept the signals and such signals are uh, quite beneficial for the uh, survival of uh, receiver and sender then evolution will support if uh, there is uh, you can say no benefit of uh, receiver then such uh, stimuli ignored by the receiver uh, such uh, behavior will not be selected by the natural selection if at any stage signaling is uh, disadvantageous for uh, either party then natural selection will uh, tend to favor individuals that do not send or respond it 
इसके केस में क्या होगा कि अगर कोई सिग्नल भेजता है और उसका एक इंडिविजुअल को फायदा नहीं तो नेचर उन इंडिविजुअल्स को सिलेक्ट करेगी जो सिग्नल नहीं भेजते नॉर्मली एनिमल सेंड देयर सिग्नल्स बाय मींस ऑफ केमिकल्स बाय मींस ऑफ सम साउंड्स एंड सच साउंड्स फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव स्टडीड इन द केस ऑफ crows vocal signals force the all individuals of their population to and defend their uh, population suppose we have uh, example of uh, albatrosses a bird is, both male and female are uh, displaying their uh, uh, courtship behavior uh, and this in this behavior uh, they are uh, both are transmitting uh, some signals to each other uh, and uh, after receiving signals uh, and performing uh, courtship behavior uh, they will mate and uh, start uh, the production of eggs and uh, gen- generation we have uh, this collared lizard this collared uh, uh, lizard uh, has territorial behavior if uh, there is any stranger male coming to their territory this collared male display uh, the behavior threatening behavior to other uh, male by opening the mouth similarly we have the example of uh, prairie dog uh, these uh, dogs uh, uh, warn the community members or population members uh, by barking so they have uh, different uh, barking signals uh, if there is uh, the attack of eagle however they have uh, uh, different signals uh, for uh, other predators uh, which are uh, uh, running on the ground and uh, as a result of this uh, uh, these animals uh, will escape in their uh, uh, burrows if there is uh, a predator coyote it's a fox like uh, animal uh, they will go into the burrows they will uh, perform different behavior as compared to the attack uh, by predator bird next uh, we have uh, two examples waggle dance of uh, honey bee its name uh, apus mellifera uh, it depend upon the angle with the sun and the source of food this honey bee worker will give information to rest of the individuals about the uh, sources of uh, you can observe uh, behavior of caged uh, honey bees uh, and uh, uh, waggling dance by flies will be displayed at the angle where flowers and food enter uh, such bees uh, also paint their food on their path as a mark a guideline for rest of the bees so in case of honey bee it perform waggling dance and these uh, honey bee waggle in the form of eight and the direction of notch waggling dance pattern will indicate the direction of uh, availability of flowers second second uh, example of uh, primate uh, semantics uh, in case of primate uh, semantics uh, we have uh, vervet monkeys uh, these vervet monkeys uh, uh, give different uh, alarm calls than uh, uh, troop members uh, sight and eagle jab ye monkey eagle ko dekhte hain leopard ko dekhte hain snake ko dekhte hain mukhtalif qisam ki inki awaazein hoti hain so other members uh, will listen these sounds uh, react and adapt escape measures uh, for their protection if there is uh, uh, this pattern of uh, uh, about uh, half second or even less it means uh, this is the attack of uh, uh, eagle if it is uh, about 1.26 seconds uh, indicating that leopard in case of uh, a snake they will produce a smallest uh, a period of uh, voice so these uh, primates uh, adapted uh, by using uh, different uh, voices accordingly 
so language uh, languages in case of uh, non human primates uh, and uh, uh, human as you know that uh, we belong to the order of uh, primate and uh, apes chimpanzee orangutan these are the example of uh, non human primates uh, and uh, in case of uh, evolutionary trend evolutionary trend uh, most of the biologists uh, think that uh, human language uh, in a communication system is quite similar uh, as uh, the uh, communication signals uh, present in case of monkey and uh, apes non human primates uh, like apes uh, apes and uh, chimpanzee they have uh, also vocabulary and uh, they also allow individuals identify the specific uh, predator by specific voice uh, and uh, which create the uh, origin of uh, languages as far as uh, human language is uh, concerned uh, it is also a signaling behavior uh, in which we signal uh, to the other individuals uh, just like uh, i'm talking to you you people and uh, trying to give uh, some information if we study the different languages uh, prevailing on uh, our planet uh, suppose we have uh, 300 uh, languages uh, and all these uh, languages uh, ha have uh, 40 consonant uh, and vowel sounds human Uh, of all culture uh, can acquire and learn such sounds from their uh, parents researchers uh, also believe that uh, such similarities uh, also related to the evolution of man uh, if you go into africa high number of uh, languages uh, present in case of uh, africa because uh, this region uh, was uh, thickly forested uh, and there is a namibian desert kalahari desert uh, and uh, most of the people are uh, speaking more languages in this area and uh, rest of the world uh, uh, gradually uh, decreasing the number of uh, languages so from this uh, map normally scientists indicate that uh, origin of languages uh, was started from uh, south western africa from this area people migrate to the rest of the world uh, and uh, they spread the uh, languages and with the passage of time uh, human reduced uh, the consonants uh, and uh, vowel sounds uh, now we have uh, some simplest uh, Uh, languages uh, like english uh, and uh, very complex languages uh, uh, within uh, africa uh, with the help of globalization we have also reduced the uh, number of uh, languages on the planet uh, day by day regional or local languages uh, are uh, uh, gradually become endangered and uh, this is the responsibility of uh, all human being to preserve such languages uh, and uh, preserve languages sir ye zara fixed action pattern dobara repeat kar de fixed action pattern this pattern is uh, decided and fixed it will never change isme aap dekhe ke stickel back male iski territory mein koi bhi male With red belly, आएगा तो ये उसके अगेंस्ट अग्रेसिव बिहेवियर शो करेगा इस एक्सपेरिमेंट में भी आपने देखा कि ये डिफरेंट पेंटेड ऑब्जेक्ट हैं जिनकी बैली जो है वो रेड कलर्ड है तो इस रियलिस्टिक मॉडल में हम देखते हैं कि फिर भी ये अंडर साइड क्या है ये रेड है और इनके अगेंस्ट भी मेल स्टिकल बैक का जो है अग्रेसिव रिस्पॉन्स होगा तो वो मेल स्टिकल बैक के लिए साइन स्टिमुलस क्या है वो है रेड बैली ये एक क्या है फिक्स्ड एक्शन पैटर्न है यानी वो जब भी ये रेड बैली मेल 
आएगा तो वो जो रेजिडेंट मेल है ये उसके ऊपर अटैक करेगा तो इस फिक्स एक्शन पैटर्न को ट्रिगर करने के लिए स्टिमुलस क्या है रेड वैली और उसका रिस्पांस क्या है रेजिडेंट मेल का अग्रेसिव होना तो ये चेंज नहीं होता दैट्स वाई इसको हम फिक्स एक्शन पैटर्न कहते हैं बहुत सारी स्पीशीज में इसकी और भी एग्जांपल्स मिल सकती हैं। स्टीरियोटिप बिहेवियर क्या होता है बेसिक किस्म का होता है जो प्रिमेटिव बिहेवियर जिसमें तब्दीली ना आ सके उसको हम स्टीरियोटिपिक बिहेवियर कहते हैं ये कि आपने बताया था कि जब सेंडर और रिसीवर दोनों सिग्नल को एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं तो एवोल्यूशनरी हिस्ट्री उसे सपोर्ट करती है और अगर ना करें तो अगर वो बेनिफिशियल हो तो उसे सपोर्ट करती है और अगर ना हो तो फिर फिर वो वो इंडिविजुअल्स को नेचुरल सिलेक्शन फेवर करेगी जो सिग्नल्स नहीं भेजते अगर बेनिफिशियल नहीं होगी तो जो नहीं भेजेगा वो बेनिफिट हाँ जी उसको फायदा 